hey guys so i basically am back with another video and um somebody dm me this and i went on my i went on chris's page myself to look to see um he said you break somebody's heart that's one thing but trying to take their child away and give them a limited amount of time for one month the whole year is dead wrong shaking my head it's fathers who don't want to be in their child life at all i guess that's what i get no that's not what you get chris like you don't deserve that this girl has brainwashed social media queen she's brainwashed social media with her innocent act she's turned the whole social media against chris she blackballed chris with her lies and her half stories and her half truths and it's disgusting to me she brainwashed this dude into thinking that he deserves this because he made mistakes in his relationship. Like, bitch, you cheated too. Like, you wasn't innocent in your marriage. Queen is walking around like she didn't sin in her marriage. She sinned in her marriage. She cheated in her marriage as well. There's nothing innocent about Queen Nyjah. Clarence was fucking a married woman. When Clarence and Queen were so-called friends, they were friends with benefits. They were fucking before the before the divorce was final. Clarence was fucking a married woman. You were fucking a nigga while you were still married, bitch. Like, are you kidding me? You were fucking another dude while you were still married. And even when you were married before Clarence, you was fucking drug dealers. And they got getting your mom's car shot up by those drug dealers. So what are you talking about? It's like this bitch is, it, she really, 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 really is delusional. Like, for you to try to take away somebody's child and they can only see them one month out the year, that's so bitter. Get over yourself. Like, come on now. If you happy, let me tell you what happy looks like. When you're in a happy relationship... You really, really honestly don't have a problem with your baby daddy. You co-parent co peacefully. Y'all can talk. Y'all can laugh. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got over the past. This bitch is so bitter and so hurt and so insecure and so and, and so self-loveless. She don't have no self-love. She, she is sitting up there. Where was I going with this? Because it, the, my train of thought, I just lost it because a notification just came in. But I was saying, um, damn, I lost it. But anywho, like, she really, really, oh, happy, happy. But like I said, she's so bitter and so self-loveless. She has no self-love. She has none of that. She's spending her time, instead of being happy, and instead of, you know, peacefully co-parenting, she's trying to take away the child and she's acting like a bitter bitch instead. And that just proves she's not happy, okay? Because happy people don't do that. Happy people don't try to take the child away. Happy people don't try to make co-parenting difficult. Happy people don't try to limit time with the child. The breakup didn't involve the child. The breakup was between you and him, but the child has nothing to do with that. So for her to try to take CJ away and limit his time with CJ, it's foul and low down. But she's going to get hers, though. God don't like ugly because at the end of the day, she can play innocent all she wants for these fucking cappers on the Internet, for these weirdos on the Internet, her weird ass mentally unstable fans. She can literally cap for them. But one thing, one, one person you cannot hide from is God. God saw everything you did in your marriage. God saw every sin you committed in your marriage. So for you to take this young man and blackball him and turn the whole media against him when you were just as guilty is fucked up. It's really fucked up very fucked up because bitch you cheated too clarence was fucking you while you were still legally married bitch like you were fucking too chris was fucking and he was messing around and you were fucking so what the fuck is the problem like come on now it makes no sense to me and that's why i don't like the girl because she plays innocent and she plays this good girl role good, good girls don't fuck while they're married good girls don't fuck niggas while they're married Good girls don't slide in niggas DMs while they're whole married. No matter what problems you're going through in your marriage, you address your problems not by sliding in an another niggas DMs, but you go to marriage counseling and you try to figure out how can we save this marriage? If we can't save it, you get a divorce first, you finalize it, then you move on. But she didn't do that. She slid into Clarence DMs while she was still married to Chris. Good girls don't do that. I'm a good girl. I know better. Certain things I would never do. You've done them. You're far from a good girl. You feel me? 
So my thing is, this fake ass good girl innocent act is dead. It's done. Like people see right through it now. People people don't believe you anymore. It's only your in mentally unstable weird ass fans who believe you. But other than that, adults, grown people already know the real. Already know that you just a fake ass bitch. Like you fake as fuck. Like how could you sit up there and take somebody's child away from them? And I noticed that too because I'm like CJ's always with her. And Chris, I never really see him with his son, at least for a long time. And so for him to write this on Twitter, it's like, it makes sense. Because, like, why is he always with her? You know what I'm saying? This is the same girl that abandoned her son to go suck dick in a basement and to make videos in a basement with a nigga that she met on Instagram. And she abandoned her sick son for a year to do that. This is the same girl. This is the mother. The mother who abandoned her son to go suck some dick in the basement and to make videos in a basement and abandoned her sick son, left him with Chris or whoever she left him with to go be with Clarence. This is the same mother. So who are you as a as a deadbeat? OK, somebody who's made poor decisions in parenting. Who are you to say, oh, well, I'm going to take him and I'm the better parent. So I'm going to have him majority of the time or whatever the case may be. You have primary custody. That does not mean sole custody. He should be able to see his son more than a month. He should be able to see his son when his son is not in school, when there's no holidays. He should be able to see his son way more. But he can't because of a bitter baby mother who is delusional. You know what I'm saying? All in all, I don't care what the fuck Chris did. Just know Queen did it too. Queen cheated too. Queen was fucking around too. Like I said, Clarence was fucking a married woman and didn't give a fuck. They both are nasty. They both are disgusting. That's the reality. So the fact that she's keeping her his her their son away from him is unfair. She blackballed him by telling half by telling lies, okay? Talking about what he did, but never once said, oh, I cheated too. Never once said, oh, I did, you know, I, I did fuck a drug dealer and he shot up my mama car. I did do that. Like never once did she say that. So she turned the whole media against Chris, making herself look innocent, okay? Because she she's, she's a coward. She can't take heat. So she turned the whole media against Chris just to be with this nigga Clarence and just to look innocent in front of the public and to save her image. That's the only that's what she did. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, it's it's dead ass wrong. She's a weak ass female and she'll always be a weak ass female and a coward, period. You know what I'm saying? Her and her unstable ass fans who sit up there and harass people and find their addresses and shit. Like all of them, all of them mentally unstable fucks. All of y'all, including her, is just weird. Weird, 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 weird. Chris has always been open and honest about his faults. He's always said, yes, I did this. Yes, I did that. He admitted his wrongs. Queen has never admitted anything she has done. And this bitch has been fucking in her marriage on, on Chris with other men as well. And she's done that, but she's never in nobody's face said, sat down and told the truth, the whole truth. She tells half the truth to make herself look good, but she doesn't tell the whole truth. You feel me? That's why people, real people, real adults don't fuck with people like Queen because she's a fake ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't do people like that. You're not happy. You're miserable. You're only social media happy. You only happy when the cameras come on. When the cameras are not on, this nigga don't want to kiss you. Clarence don't want to touch you. He don't want to smack your ass. You're a germ to him. He don't give a fuck about you except for your money. And on social media, it's the only time you get, you get attention. And that's the only time you get any type of praise. Because why? It's all a front. It's all a facade to make the people believe in this fake ass relationship when behind closed doors, this nigga don't even want to fuck you and you be begging for dick. Like, bitch, you're desperate. You're just you're desperate and disgusting. OK, and I don't give a fuck because usually when it comes to mothers and when it comes to things like that, I'm I'm not I, I, I'm respectful. But this bitch deserves to be disrespected because she disrespects herself. She has no self-respect, so I'm not going to respect her, period. It is what it is. So, you know, I, I really hope that he gets to see his son more. And I really hope that, you know, that girl gets over that hurt. I hope that she learns to love herself because she don't love herself. And that's exactly why she's taking out her self-hate out on other people. She's taking out her self-hate on Chris. And it's like, bitch, love yourself. 
When you start loving yourself, you'll see life differently and you won't do the shit that you do now. When you start loving yourself, but until you love yourself, you're going to always be a bitter bitch. And that's all I have to say about that. Period. Like if I have a child and me and the baby daddy, me and my husband, we, we, we divorce, we break up. I'm not going to take my son's father or my daughter's father away from them because I want my child to have the childhood I never had. I didn't have a father growing up and Queen's dumbass didn't have a father growing up. So why the fuck would you want to submit subject CJ to that? Why would you want him to be fatherless? He has a father. I would never want my kids to grow up like I did with no father. Or a limited amount of time with their father. I'm gonna give their father their time because the their time with my child because that's how it's supposed to be. I'm not gonna be that bitter bitch to take my child away all because a nigga don't want me. Mad because Chris don't want her. Mad because Chris, you know, basically don't give a fuck about her or Clarence relationship. Mad because this nigga has moved on how you've supposedly moved on. And you want to, and the only way to get attention from him is by using his son as a pawn. Girl, you're pathetic. Okay, I see, I see the game. I see all of it. Okay, it's pathetic and it's old. And you need to fucking love yourself and get a fucking life. Okay, get a life, a life that does not involve being bitter, but a life that involves being truly happy because you only social media happy. And anybody who's real OG and real knows it. Okay, period. Like, girl, get a grip. Fucking, fucking while married, playing innocent. Bitch, you whore. Like, stop playing with yourself. Like, bitch, you are nasty. You had a baby by a nigga that you barely knew. You had a baby by a nigga that you met on, inst that you, that you found on Instagram. You had an Instagram crush and you had a baby by a nigga that you barely knew, whore. Like, what the fuck? Like, bitch, bye, y'all.